Got it here, another weirdest knife ever made. This is Wild State Ultimate Outdoor and Tactical Knife. And I think it's made in France. I have put to the test knife by that brand before and I figure why not? Last one did so good and this one is even weirder. Let me show you what I'm talking about. First of all, there's a clip over here for some reason. We'll find out why it's here. I don't know. Maybe so it doesn't slide out. There is another clip. And let's pull this out knife. Boom. And you see it says fans. I'm not take the sticker out. I just bought it for my collection. And I have put to the test similar knife like that. First of all, you have a knife to carve the wood, whatever, short knife. Anything you need. Short knives are very good for camping and stuff like that. But if you need a bigger knife, it's kind of like scary to open it because I haven't figured it out how to open it yet. I guess you just pull on it and that's it and it locks in. And this knife is so big it's almost like a machete. That's insane. Look at that. Almost bigger than my hand. My hands are pretty big. About seven inches the sharp part. That is crazy and the way it's built you see how it's skinny and thickens out over here almost like a machete. Love it. Now also what's unique about this knife to close it there is a little trigger. You press on it you see it will pry open this end. Let me show it to you again. You see there is a clip inside here. Trigger it and then close it slowly. Wow, it says right here, ferns on it, very nice. Boom, and unlock it. Not the most comfortable thing to hold it like that. This thing is in a way, I'd say it's more comfortable to hold it with the left hand because this is not on your hand, so perfect for left-handed people. I don't know if you could flip it around, probably not. But if you're wearing gloves, I wouldn't complain. It's still a very cool mechanism the way it works and it sticks out at the end so that way you get a short knife, a tall knife and very very unique locking mechanism with the trigger. Boom. Just be very very careful. This knife is actually very very sharp. One more thing I wanna see how comfortable is it to hold it. First of all not so comfortable like that. I guess I would hold it like this. Uh, to maybe cut the bread and stuff like that cook, but like a machete I think you can hold it like that no problem especially if you have smaller hands This grip is very very thick So I think it's supposed to be in a palm of your hand like that And so that way you can chop through whatever cut then you want to close it Trigger it slowly carefully boom then you have a smaller knife for cooking or whatnot. It's kind of dumb test, but let's try it anyways. Okay, there you go. Oh, the works are good. There you go. It's nice and sharp, but just not perfect. There you go. Sometimes it's catching it good. It is very sharp. It just, I don't know why. Sometimes it's just not cutting it that good. There you go. Sometimes it cuts it so well, sometimes it doesn't. So, it is awesome factory sharp knife. And in my opinion, it is super unique. They cost very expensive. I think it's close to $300 on eBay. I don't know where you can buy it cheaper because on Amazon it costs just as much. So just a very, very unique knife right here. Let me know in comments below what do you think. So I guess the other way you can use this thing is keep it open and lock the knife like this. Yep, it fits. I wasn't sure what this for, but we figured it out without any kind of instructions. Boom, and it lock in there. Wow, very cool. So this is a belt knife, obviously. It's longer than four inches. Okay, so it has to be open carry. Plastic all around here to protect the leather. 
Very nice. What's up guys, got another very weird knife over here. Let's see what this one is all about. Okay, this is the actual holder for the knife. Pretty unique. Okay, let's open the actual blade. There you go. Wow, look at that. That is so weird, don't you guys think? This has got to be the most unique knife I've ever seen in a while. So yeah, take it out. Very sharp. Ooh, look how thick that is. I love whenever the knives are really, really thick, but pretty tiny. So it's like a finger knife, box opener, whatever. Check this out. And then you can put it onto this thing right here. Lock it in and boom. So looks like a little card, but again, super, super thick. Love this. I think they were on a Kickstarter and they were pretty successful. So now how do we open it? That's what I'm saying, so weird, I don't even know how to open it. Okay, there's a latchet right here. So I guess you just pull on that and push it out. There you go. Okay, and looks like you'd have to hold it like that. So that way it doesn't unspin all the way out. Boom. Pretty cool. Let me know in comments below, what do you think? Wow. Okay, close it again. Locks in pretty nice and smooth and doesn't come out at all. Okay, to pull it out, looks like you have to use two hands. Um, just push it like that. It doesn't really lock in anywhere over here, so it's kind of loose on top over here. So you kind of hold it, I guess, one below like that and one on top, the finger. Uh, just be careful over here. So yeah, and there you go, you have right here a uh, box opener or you can hold it like that. That's probably the most comfortable way to do it. And maybe this is like a holder finger knife. Love it, so thick, so smooth, fun. I don't even wanna use it. Look how thick it is. There's a brand of it who designed it. I bought it from a third party website. I think it was their website maybe even. So nothing like eBay or Amazon, I don't think you can even buy it there. You have to buy it from actual website that they sell. Okay, one more time, boom. Hold it like that, cool, box opener. But again, in my opinion, playing with this right now, it's easier to take it out and use it like that. Uh, to open a bunch of boxes, then put it away here. Boom. Very nice, I like it. Very, very unique knife right here. Let me know in comments below what do you think about one of these knives. Uh, if there is anything like that, please let me know. I love collecting unique knives like that. I have right here another French made uh, knife. It's called Knife Tactical STI. So STI Tactical. Okay. This is so weird. i never seen anything like that. Kind of a, like a pistol grip in a way. What is that? So how do we unfold it? It's locked right now, so we will need to unlock it. And what do you guys think? This is reminds me of a Leo hatchet, but it's actual knife over here. The blade is really, really thick, look at that. It's a nice blade. Uh, looks like very, very sharp. Uh, but yeah, also you can open it a little bit more. Just release the safety. There you go, it's locked in. And then you can close it. The safety is kind of crazy, but yeah, what do you guys think? What is this hole for? I have no idea Gotta release it So I guess you can cut something like that Maybe box cutter. I don't even know what I would use it for It says bodyguard P001 on a blade It's quite dark right now, but there you go There's a the logo I'm just trying to understand what this hole for. That's not the best comfortability. Uh, maybe this way, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely a very unique folder over here, very strange knife. I kind of like it. Anyways, the actual blade is very, very short, like a few inches. I just have hard times to understand what is that for and to open it and close it, you have to release the safety. What do you guys think? 
very very strange knife so anyways i love finding very unique knives like that and it definitely fits the category okay back and close boom and this knife is not very cheap usually you can find knives like that um they probably like 15 20 bucks i think this one was more than 50 dollars i don't remember but yeah pretty unique weird knife over here let me know in comments below what do you think one more time uh, uh, unfold it got that here another weirdest knife ever made so first of all looks like a regular folded knife but this thing right here sticking out with a bunch of ridges which is kind of comfortable to open it and close it with two hands and as you can see it has this back lock in the front so pretty easy to open it and close it kind of one-handed knife but a little bit too far to reach uh, but what you could do to open it is just actually hold your hand and hook it like that and as you can see it's going to unfold and you can do it a little bit quicker and look at that it's almost like a pistol grip check this out so you hold it like that and you can work on things and you can put it upside down like that and cut something uh, boom so pretty unique knife very very sharp as you can see um, it says China, but there is a brand of it. Very cool logo. There's another logo over here and the designer. Okay. And whenever you close it, look at that lock. Very unique. You just press it and just fold it. Keep your fingers away. Can we flip it this way? Kind of. Almost all the way. Let's try this again. Grab it and boom very very nice because it's a kind of a pistol grip hold you could flip it like that get yourself maybe a practice one without the uh, blade on it it's like very very dull and that way you can practice close it and opening it i saw the video who designed the knife he actually was doing it like that to open and close the knife but again there is a trainer you want to be very very careful boom so yeah very strange knife in a way kind of a little bit of scary to open it close it like that so definitely have yourself a practice knife to do it but yeah let me know in comments below what do you think very comfortable knife to hold it like this i guess you can also hold it like that for precision cutting pretty unique you see there's a thumb rest anyways very very unique knife right here easy to close and open let me know in comments below what do you think about opening the knife like that very very interesting design never seen anything like that got it here another weirdest knife ever made so let's see what this one is all about boom so you got it here a little bottle opener cool and the way it opens it's just like a butterfly knife boom and flip it over how unique is that? And it's latched right here. Wow. Interesting. So only sharp on one end right here. So in a way it's like a box opener because it's pretty small, a couple of inches. That's it, maybe two and a half. So yeah, uh, there is a clip right here. Very nice, but you can't really do much tricks to it because it just flips over like that and locks it. So let's try this again, okay, that's it, that's the only way to do it I guess. But yeah, fun little knife, uh, I don't know why they come up to build it like that, it's just I guess fun way to open it and close it. I'm not really good at butterfly knives, I never had one when I was a kid so I never learned all the fancy tricks, but yeah. You always have a bottle opener, that is very very handy and you always have a knife to open up a box or open up a package with a zip tie, it's nice. So let's try to cut something, let's see how sharp it is because I don't know nothing about this brand. All I know is this knife is very unique, I love when I find pretty strange knives like that. Look at this, uh, whatever you call it, bolts, they're just there for fun. They don't even do anything. I guess maybe they're there for the bottle opener, that's it. Anyway, there's a piece of paper from a notebook. Oh no, oh no. 
This is the dullest knife ever. Nope. So that's what I'm saying. The nice knives versus the burns you don't know nothing about. It cannot even cut a piece of paper. It's kind of cuts it, but then it gets stuck and apes it. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, not very sharp knife at all. The only reason why I bought it for my weird knife collection. And I guess to close it, you just open it, boom. Still have to use two hands because there is a latchet. Kind of fun that it flips out like that. Well, not whenever it um, closes. But yeah, one more time. Let's see. Be careful opening it, don't cut yourself because the it exposes the blade. But yeah, super unique knife. Got it here, another weirdest knife ever made. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's open it up. Look at that brick. How else would I call it? It is literally a brick of a knife. So pull it out. Looks like there is a little bit of oil on it, but yeah, look how thick that is. It's incredible. Can it even cut? I have no idea. It's just so big and heavy. It's honestly like almost dangerous if you drop it and it falls on your foot. Not even with a sharp edge. It might like bruise your toe or something. So anyways, let's start to cut a piece of paper or something. See what it looks like. This is just insane piece of a knife. <laughs> it's definitely not the best to cut with the paper. You see it's kind of breaks at the end. It doesn't really cut it all the way down. You see how it's kind of rips it instead of cutting it. Yeah. I'm sure it's because it's just too thick, but it is just a fun piece of knife over here. Little rough neck. How awesome is that? Because it's such a thick knife, look at that. It's slanted this way and one more time over here. So the edge is not so pointy and because it's thick, it wouldn't break off. That's a good idea. Um, a little bit of oily. It's nice. Look at that handle. Beautiful. It's comfortable, uh, very, very heavy, so I don't know if I would want to keep it in my pocket or over my neck. It's just insane amount of steel in here. So it's like two or three knives in one. Super easy to grab it and push it up. Also, it's easy to remove this clip if you want to keep it over your neck. I think you just unspin it or something. I guess you'll have to put some kind of allen wrench and then spin it so kind of not so easy actually but yeah there's a belt clip you can remove this thing and put it over your neck but i think that knife should be on your belt because it's so heavy feels kind of sharp but not super sharp so yeah very unique knife would i carry it every day i think it's too heavy even on my belt uh it's fun to use Probably if I could just lay it down and grab it, unbox a bunch of stuff and lay it back down, not on me all the time, I would use it a lot. But it's just a fun little knife, probably in my opinion the weirdest knife ever made because it's so thick and heavy, it's incredible. I feel like whenever you're going to be cutting, you don't even have to push because there is so much heftiness into it, it's just going to go through and cut by itself. So, I'm going to put it onto my weird knife collections. This is why I bought it, to show it to you and just add on to my weird knife collections.